Uh, Light Honorable Laila Odinga, uh, Distinguished President, uh, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Antonio Mudungu. I come from Yeli, and I'm here to talk about youth and innovation. Uh, myself, I've been in innovation for the past 15 years. I look young, but I'm not. And uh, I learned a startup that locally manufacture USB cables. Maybe you had uh, a company that uh, make USB cables locally. That's, uh, I'm the owner and the founder of that company. And I uh, wish to pass some few cables to our light owner, Mbolai Laudinga. Uh, basically, mine will be short, and uh, I want to say something about maybe you have been seeing your innovators in your national TV, and uh, all of a sudden, after three months, they disappear. Where do they go? This is a reality. You know, starting a business in uh, this country is uh, it's a challenge, and one thing is high taxation. My company is nearly one year, but my VAT is 16 percent. Uh, the issue of taxation was mentioned here on BBI, and I saw Nanabo Denis Wawelo here. We believe all is not lost. What we can do for us as uh, young innovators and entrepreneurs is to have a reduced tax. For example, at the first one year, probably the VAT can be 3%. As I grow for years, five years, the VAT can cause increasing. Because at the end of the day, we... We want to pay taxes. I love paying taxes because it's, it's part of our fiscal contribution to this country. So increasing tax as time goes, that's something we like. Also something we want to talk about is uh, import of products that they can locally be made. I also want to, to understand if uh, the Light Honorable Laila Odiga's government will allow importation of to the peaks, something that can be done somewhere inside the Kalula Forest to be imported. So these things that can be locally made, they don't have to be imported. And this is the idea one. We can make the import duty of every finished product very high. We have to frustrate imports. If you want to import a whole car, the import should be very crazy. But if you want to import parts, a sebo parts bring a tire hygiene, a sebo here, the government should embrace you in open arms. <laughs> By that, we are going to increase we are going to create job for youth for those people who assemble those cars. We frustrate that kind of stuff. But for us who want to assemble the import duty for parts, it should be relatively low so that you can see the cost of importing a V8 is almost very cheaper when you buy, bring those parts and bring it here. Another thing, the last machine that I, I brought in, uh, in my factory that is based in Kirinaga County, I bought it at 520,000 in China. But the cost of bringing it from China to my factory was 330,000 Kenya shillings. That's the cost of another machine. I could have bought two. This is the idea, this is what we need. We need to have a government to work with closely with people like Kepsa. Kepsa has our record, all those companies registered in Kenya. Kepsa have our record because we are, our products are all certified and approved by Kepsa. We have organizations like KLA. KLA have our tax compliance. They have our record. This is what we should do. All those bodies under the Ministry of uh, Trade, probably, and investors, if possible, they can have kind of have a pool of resources. Myself, as a young innovator and an entrepreneur, I just need to get resources to buy the machine from China. And once I get it, I just need to tell my supplier, please take it to this warehouse. Probably our government warehouse, a Kepsa warehouse in Kepsa, sorry, Kepsa warehouse in India, US, or China. Once it's there, a government will facilitate bringing that machine for me. Also, start the cost of the custom for me, the 300,000 300, I paid. And once the machine are here in Kenya, I should be called and to go and pick the machines. And the government give me at least one year to use this machine, and then I start paying back this 300,000. <laughs> That's what we need. And when we are getting the invoice for those machines that the government has imported on our behalf, the invoice should have a very big disclaimer that the government of Kenya, through the Ministry of Trade and Industrialization, reserves the ownership of this machine until the day you pay this. So when I'm buying those machines in China, I won't be bothering to have like shipping costs. I have the machine, the government ships for me, the 300,000 I pay for shipping, Probably I can pay it in probably five months or 50,000 50, 
each and also as i finish uh right on our bolaila odinga we had a study you've been mount kenya mount, mount kenya in kenyaga next week i wish to officially invite you to my factory so that you can come and see probably what we do and how you can help the youth in kenya so ladies and gentlemen thank you so much and i wish you a happy mashujadi for those who wish to buy our cable in the name of buy kenya build kenya we have them there we are going to sell to you at only kenya shillings 200 buy kenya build kenya our next speaker is carol mwangi caroline mwangi Nagafiti. 